What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. And guys, it is pretty much the best time of the year, at least for as far as our channel goes, because that means it's ice fishing time. You guys know that we are pretty big ice fishing grinders and uh, we always try to be out here in Wisconsin on early ice first, well, put out the first video. So today, that is what I am planning on doing. Now, I'm gonna give you a little uh, background here um, for kind of what's going on in Wisconsin. So you guys probably know if you live here, um, it's cold for one, and we have a lot of snow. But what we don't have a lot of is ice. We really do not have a lot of ice. So um, me and special guest, drum roll, John Lehman from Mindac Outdoors have been up here in Northern Wisconsin all morning and we've been looking for ice. We've been checking all the lakes that I usually come up to right away. And well, first lake we went to was wide open. Second lake we went to, um, it was froze, but the spot that I normally fish was open. So we like, well, I walked around and let's just say I got a little wet. So went to my grandparents, dried out my stuff, blah, 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 whatever. Didn't work out. So we are now at another lake and um, we did find kind of safe ice walkable ice i will say and we don't know if there's fish there we walked and checked it first uh, now we got all of our stuff we got john's live scope my live scope and just a couple rods we are gonna make a hike it's about like i don't know we got to go around like this one body of water to like this back bay part that's froze but we don't know if there's fish there we don't know if we're gonna catch anything but that's uh, kind of where we're at. Just wanted to pick up a camera, tell you guys, we're out here trying, we're doing it. And yeah, I guess get ready for an adventure. We're gonna go see if we can get on some early ice fish. Stay tuned. Well, we are on the trail, going back to the little bay here. Um, as you tell to the right of me, this is the lake that is partially frozen. So, unfortunately, you can't walk across it like I would want. So, we made this little trail here because we already went back and checked it. And uh, we're, we're just walking in the woods here. Not very great, a lot of trees, a lot of random uh, stumps and rocks and all that good stuff. And, turns out, live scope units, really light. So it makes it nice and easy to carry through here. We got a little bit to go, but it just wouldn't be an early ice send without a little adventure, that's all I'm saying. <sighs> nice. You're doing great, buddy. Oh, this is awful. I, I love ice fishing. Right? Love ice fishing. Well, we are almost to the spot. I don't know if I'll be able to fish because my arm is about to fall off from carrying my live scope. But hopefully this is all worth it and we can get on some nice crappies. But we'll have to wait and see. Well, would you look at that. We've got ourselves a frozen little lake. Oh, we have made it to the spot where we walked out uh, probably about a half an hour ago and checked, as you can tell behind me, you can see my little trail out there we did spot out and the ice is walkable. Now, this lake I have been to before. Um, recently, actually, I went this year. This is where we filmed one of our crappie videos from the summer. And yeah, there's a lot of crappies back here, but do they stay during the winter? That is something we're gonna have to find out. Now, luckily we do have two live scopes um, so if we go out in the middle and we scan around, we definitely should be able to scan this entire thing and see every fish that lives back here. So we're going to end up doing that. Now I just kind of want to turn around and show you guys kind of the ice conditions. Um, so the shorelines are kind of junk. And if I walk out here, this is a little nerve wracking because I've got my camera. But if I walk out to this chiseled hole here, that already froze over, but we're dealing with Probably that much ice out here. Now, like I said, this is like a backwater to an already small lake. And 
it's like the only frozen lake that like is actually locked so I wouldn't really come up here um, by the time you guys are watching this I wouldn't come up here and look yet because you're gonna be wasting a lot of time and we are pretty much solely doing this for your enjoyment not professionals uh, yes it's stupid I understand but something to do it's fun and like I said it's for your entertainment so we're gonna spot on out there get our live scopes get our rods and hopefully catch some fish <sighs> I'm gonna go ahead and do the honors and walk out here first um, and just kind of see. I did just add like 20 pounds of weight with my live scope. So I'm gonna still be safe about this, but we're gonna go out and just drill a hole and just see if there's any fish. And then uh, if, I, if I find something, well then John's gonna come out here and he's gonna join me and we're gonna just start hammering some crappies so I'm gonna go out here just kind of to the middle of this little backwater area put the live scope down and just find out what we got going so just gonna start here I guess chisel the first hole I'll actually show you guys how much we're dealing with I do have my spuds here just in case if I fall in like I did earlier today so I can drag myself out. So I'm gonna go ahead and just chisel a little hole here. I don't know, gotta make it too big. Something like that. Like I said, we're dealing with anywhere from like two to two and a half inches, nothing crazy. And yeah, so we're gonna go ahead, get the live scope down here quick. See if there's any fish. All right, well, I believe I see some fish on my live scope. We're gonna go ahead and do the first drop of the 2022-2023 season. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna see if we can get a fish here. See myself dropping down. See if we can get ourselves a little crappie. There's like fish on the bottom, but they're not like interacting. Really? So what does that mean? Are you seeing a lot of fish or? There's a decent amount that are swimming. They're not even like coming to look at it though. Right. They might just be like in the trees. I don't know. It's hard to say. Like there's fish here. I just don't know what they are. I feel like even a small bluegill should come look or something, right? Well everyone, a little bit of a change of scenery. As you can tell, I am inside right now. I am in my basement, back at home, and uh, man, John and I really tried out there today to get an early ice video for you. As you can tell though, we did go out, we did grind, we did try and uh, film a video for you. We did find safe ice that we were able to walk out on, um, just weren't able to catch any fish, which is kind of how it goes when you're early ice fishing. You're hitting bodies of water, 
that are just frozen. I mean, anything that's frozen and that I can walk on is usually what I go to. The lakes that I normally fish are not frozen right now and still just wanted to try filming something. So I did still want to make this a video, but I wanted to make it a video that we have been trying to film for like the last week, just haven't had time, which is showing you guys what we like to use, what we're using for this year, all the products that we use, um, basically anything you want to know about our ice fishing and how we do it and stuff is going to be the remainder of this video and everything that we show you will be linked down below um, so that way if you guys want to grab it and use what we use um, you can find it and check it out so if I go ahead turn the camera around we got Brandon down here he drove over and we'll be helping out with the remainder of the video and we yep. still got John chilling <laughs> down there on the futon so Brandon walk everybody through what we're gonna be using this year well um, I guess we're gonna go through start out with this new rod case that we got goal is to be a lot more organized this year In years past we have been just Quick game plan jump in the truck make it happen this year We want to try and be a lot more organized. So we got a full case uh, with all of our rods all of our tackle uh, We've got fishing line and everything in here making leaders and stuff like that for our tip-ups this year being much more organized is going to help us a lot. Um, it's going to save us time and stay on top of fish. We've got all of our wonderful dinner bells all laid out in here. We've got plenty more, but this is nicely organized. And we've got jigs and stuff like that in here. We've got all of our tip-up lights inside of the bag ready to rock. Here you can see we've got all of our frostbite rods. We've got rods for jigging, like right here. We've got the old Royal Flush, awesome rod for panfish. What do we got here? The old True Grit. I'll go ahead and show you guys if I can get it out of here. There we go. We got the old True Grit ready to rock. Now this is going to be used for catching big pike on our I fish pro setups um, obviously can't use these all the time you guys have seen us do a lot of tip up fishing we do a lot of tip up fishing but on those days where it's not so windy we don't have a lot of snow drifts and stuff like that we love to set up the i fish pros uh, true grit gonna be a great rod set up for walleye pike stuff like that uh, we've got every one of these rods set up with a well, assortment of different PC fun reels. Uh, we've got the Viper X, you've got the Carbon Series, um, all great reels. Like Nick was saying, if you want to use anything that we use, uh, everything is going to be linked down below. So moving forward, we already shouted out the old iFish Pro. Like I said, we love to use these, but the old bread and butter beaver dams. Um, this is all we use when it comes to tip up fishing. Buy these and they'll pretty much last you your entire lifetime as long as you take care of them oil them up and stuff like that so we went through got all of them uh restring up new leader lines and stuff like that hopefully once some of our bigger bodies of water are actually frozen over and get locked up we will be on top of some walleyes very soon next we've got this lovely bad boy here that might have just saved nick's life today you want to talk about what yes. you're wearing so I did not show this in the video, um, but our first scouting mission this morning before we hit the lake that you guys saw, um, I did end up falling through the ice. Now it was kind; of, it could have been prevented. Obviously, um, I am kind of risky when it comes to early ice. I know I don't show it all the time because it's it's hard to film, obviously, especially when you're falling in the water because camera gear does not like water, but. Uh, yes, I did fall in and I was testing out a new product from PC fun. This is their bibs and they have a jacket I was just wearing the bibs today um, But I was super impressed because the spot that I did fall in it was over my head I would not have been able to touch the spot I was probably in 10 feet of water when I fell through and these things actually floated up my legs right away and I was able to like back off and get up on top of the safe ice and crawl out and all I did, my grandparents live close to the lake. I went there and just threw them in the dryer. It took a little bit just to kind of get them dry again, but super impressed with how well they float. And the nice thing about these things are they're pretty much, I don't want to say exactly like some of the other ones, but um, the nice thing is they're super good quality for about half of the price for other stuff on the market that is this style. So I would definitely recommend checking them out. And like I said, I field tested it today and I can say that it does float and I don't know, I don't want to go too extreme and say that it saved my life, but it definitely did help me get out and uh, get back on top of the hard water. And yeah, so there is that. So definitely check out these. These are what we're going to be running this year. 
for pretty much every single ice fishing adventure. Fall around to the outside here, we got probably one of the most important pieces that we run, obviously, on this channel. This is the Garmin Live Scope. Um, obviously, I've been using it the last two years here, and this thing is just, it cuts everything down it, like in half because if you are on a lake that you've never fished, or maybe you have fish, you pretty much go to the spot, like if you're going for crappies, go to the deep basin, drill one hole, you can scan 100 feet with this um, in forward mode and find fish immediately. So obviously Garmin Live Scope is kind of the way to go. Now we do have flashers uh, that we will be using on and off this year too, because there is a time and a place for that. But Garmin Live Scope is gonna be the main thing that we run this year. And we got that all ready to go. Nice thing about this shuttle is, uh, we can connect like a GoPro, record our screen. So expecting a lot of videos this year that we're gonna be doing like a lot of stuff um, as far as like filming the screen of the live scope. I know you guys like that as well. And actually one more thing that we do have. One more really important thing that we did purchase for this year is, well, we've always used an underwater camera. Um, we did film like our first underwater fishing video last year and you guys seem to really enjoy it. Uh, so we did a little bit of upgrading. So the one that we did have was not HD. It did film, but like I said, not HD, not great footage. Um, pretty much used it just for scouting. So we ended up buying a new one. This is a Markham, not sure exactly which one it is off the top of my head, but it records in full 1080 HP. And um, yeah, so it's gonna be really great for underwater footage because um, we want to incorporate that a lot. One, because it's super interesting to actually see how fish react and it's just really fun to watch. So you expect a lot of underwater footage. That's pretty much the last thing that we do have here. I guess it's kind of simplified. We don't really have a whole lot of stuff, but that's everything that we're going to be running this year. So yeah, that's pretty much the full lineup. Um, as Nick said, having the underwater camera is going to be really nice. We're going to be able to uh, film a lot more videos and scout um, in HD this year. It's gonna be great being able to have that and being able to record. But yeah, this is pretty much everything. Simplified, organized, that was the main goal this year. Um, just kind of cut down on having so much stuff with us. Obviously having the camera gear and stuff like that, it's still gonna be a lot. Um, but just being able to cut down on some of the supplies and going through and just staying clean, everything organized, always having stuff with us, no matter what the circumstance is. That was kind of our main goal this year. So yeah, everything here has been field tested from the jacket to the bibs, rods, reels, everything, tip ups. We've tested everything and it all works. I think that's pretty much gonna wrap up our video here today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. We did find safe ice, wasn't super safe. Nick did fall in today, but we found walkable ice, did some ice fishing. Unfortunately, they did not catch any fish. Um, I didn't shoot a deer this morning, so that sucks. But to all of our hunters out there, good luck. If you guys are looking for safe ice, be safe. Um, don't do anything too crazy. But yeah, here's the whole lineup. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you on the next one. Tight lines from NBS.